Oh, we're back. Okay. So this is the third time I've tried to record this fucking video. All right. Um, I'm getting really fucking annoyed. I I love you all. Um, for those of you who, who don't know, I updated my computer with Mojave, and now nothing works on it. Um, and I don't know how to fix it. Okay. So, for the third time... Ghostmas, Doubleheader, okay, we have Signalman by Charles Dickens, and we have The Kit Bag by Algernon Blackwood, and The Signalman is fine, um, Zoe really loves it, um, it doesn't take place on Christmas, but it's like one of these famous ghost stories, Spoilers here. Um, after reading it, it was a really good story. But after, like, going over it, it's not... A, I don't think it's a ghost story. And I don't know why it always gets, like, lopped in with ghost stories. Um, the thing about it that I thought was really cool was that there's a case of mistaken identity. Again, if you don't want to hear spoilers, go to weirdmouse.com. You could read both of these stories right now. Um, but there's this case of mistaken identity, which is kind of cool and ends up bonding um, the two characters of the story. And what ends up happening... Um, is alluded to that it's a ghost story, but really it's like more of a, like a premonition. Um, and it has nothing to do with ghosts or spirits or anything. So that was kind of weird. Um, but it was good. It wasn't scary by any means. It was more like, holy shit, that's what happened kind of thing. Um, whereas the kit bag is probably the most original story of anything I've read so far in Ghostmas. And this does have a little bit of Christmas in it. Um, there was a murder case, um, and these guys that worked on it are done now. And one's like, dude, I'm going to the Alps for Christmas. I'm going skiing. I'm going dancing. By the way, um, can I borrow a kit bag? I didn't have time to get one, and my um, boat or whatever leaves like first thing in the morning. And he's like, yeah, I'll have somebody send it over. So he goes back to his place. Um, someone brings a bag. He starts filling it up, and he notices that the bag's all fucked up looking and dirty and grungy and shit. And, um, once he fills it up really full, he's noticing that it kind of looks like the killer, um, in the case that they were working on. And that kind of freaks him out. And he keeps thinking he's hearing like footsteps and all this other stuff. And so he's like terrified and he keeps running out and looking in and packing and running out and all this other stuff. Um, and then the bag that has like this face on it now like comes up to him and says like I want my bag back and he's like oh and it turns out that the butler guy brought the wrong bag and instead of bringing the bag that the buddy put out for him he brought the bag that the killer used to um put the body in and bury it um and the dude killed himself and he wants to be buried in the bag like his victim was or whatever. So it was just like, fucking hell, dude. Like, that's like meaty, you know? So, um, two really good stories worth the read, worth the time you put into them. Um, I'm just really happy I read that today and um after reading the signalman even though it wasn't what i was expecting it was really good where am i hello there we are um it was really good and it made me want to read more so um 
I wasn't going to read the kit bag until tomorrow, but I just got too excited. And then I also read a third one, but I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So um, I'll talk about that one tomorrow. Um, so definitely run over to Weird Mask and read those. Let me know down below what you think of these and how you're doing on your ghost miss stories and if there's any that I'm missing that you think um, I should be on top of. So let me know, and until next time, and if you know how to fix things with Mojave in a MacBook, let me know. Bye.